Greetings to all my black brothers and sisters all around the world. And this greeting is coming from the Caribbean, all the way down in the tropics. And I just want to say that I want all my black brothers and sisters to know that there is hope amidst all the division and confusion that there is hope and that there's always a man who can turn on the light now the word melanation is a word that I I personally love the idea of melanation is something that I personally also would support. Now, all of the drama behind melanation and the things that have been happening is not really my concern to really go into and to really take any sides. But what I want to say to all my black brothers and sisters and those who are leaders in the conscious community and so on, I want to encourage us because I am the smallest. The country that I'm speaking to you from which is St. Vincent and the Grenadines, many of you, I guess many of you have never even heard of such a country existing in the world. If you go on the world map, I, I'm not quite sure if you might even see St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and if you see St. Vincent and the Grenadines, it would be like a little dot. But I want to let you know, black people, that we are all in this thing together and that it is better to say something that is more positive than that is negative let us look at the whole motive of melanation Forget about nature boy now. I'm not speaking about nature boy. I'm speaking about the idea. I'm speaking about the concept. I'm speaking about the idea of coming to the tropics. I'm not saying to leave everything and come and live in the tropics forever. But coming come in, in the tropics, the place of the sun. The place where we don't get any winter and any atom. It's a place where there's always life because winter is just a symbol of death. Everything dies. Where the ecosystem is concerned, it's like a shutdown. So, my, brother, my black brothers and sisters, you guys in America and the other large countries such as like Canada and England and so on, you all have the material, you all have the literature. You all are, are joined in in a sea of information. I am very much grateful that we don't have that access to that kind of information. That is why everything you will ever hear me say on any of my videos, there are things that I've experienced for myself. And all the things that you people been speaking about, it is the truth. The sign of the eye, where you speak about Horus and all of that, which I don't have no knowledge about, so I am not going to even elaborate too much on those things, right? I've had experience like that. When I wake within myself, it was an eye like that.
When I met the pillar of fire, and the man came out from the pillar, the man that came out from the pillar of fire and actually went back in the pillar of fire. It was a black man. And when I had my my visitation up from, from another galaxy, and an extraterrestrial came to me and opened up my third eye, and my whole perception just started widening. I started to become more, more wise. That is experience. I, I can't talk about books. I can't walk where um, young Pharaoh and Polite and Bobby Hemet and Phil Valentine and, and, and their man just walk. Hen, um, John Henry Clark. And the many others. Yosef um, Ben 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 Han, um, Yosef um, Ben I can't remember the, the other name. Johanan. Yosef Yo, Yosef Johanan. And the many others who have bring certain knowledge to us. But we 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 get so caught up. With the ego and with intellect. We are still living in the white man's world with all the intellect, with all the I know. That's the intellectual kind of knowing, my brothers and sisters. Get the experience to go with it. And I, I won't mind reading a little too. If I can get literature to read, I would read. Because I think I have a good memory. But I'm not gonna, gonna um, tie my fate to what I read in a book. But get the experience. Get the sun. Get back to nature. We are the people of the sun. When I had my awakening, I realized the whole mystery is the S-U-N and the S-O-N. Don't just talk about it. Get the experience, my brothers and my sisters. We rallying with you. We are all in this thing together. One time I, I challenged some Jehovah's Witness, some white people. And the night, when I go to bed, they check me out. If I was real, what do you think would have happened? Because I told them, you can't come and tell me about the invisible, you never became invisible. They check me out. When I challenged some, some mamans, some white mamans in my country here too. They check me out in the night. <laughs> so I realize you can't just be talking from intellect, you know, my brothers and my sisters, my lovely brothers and sisters. Come on. Let us stop the fighting. Stop fighting for food and clothes. Stop worship money. The whole idea of melanation. Where, where, where you've been encouraged to get to nature and to be in the tropics. It was a sign. It's a sign. So while you are fighting with all of this, this knowledge and intellect, simple, 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 people like me down here, we get the experience, we exit in the skull, becoming invisible and all of that. So my brother and my sisters, I'm doing this video to encourage you. Let us rally together. Forget about polite and all of them. Polite bring good information too. Everybody's doing their part. You all just be decoding movies. You have to have all kind of character in the movie. If this life is a game, you must have all the characters. But recognize your leaders. Your true leaders. This is a man speaking from a small little country. A country of no significance as far as I can say. Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? My brothers, my sisters. I'm pleading. I'm begging to you. I'm begging you. Sorry, I'm begging you. If, if, even the, the pastor who leads the church. Kevin Wesley. I'm encouraging you too, my brother. Omar Johnson, I'm encouraging you, my brother. 
There's so much to name. I'm encouraging everyone take the information and use it wisely. And let us work together. Let us rally this thing together. Because it's a, it's a, it's a black people thing. So with that being said, my brothers, my sisters, feel free if you've been led by your intuition to subscribe or to like or to dislike or to comment. As long as you're following your intuition. But my message to you is to let us encourage each and every one. Let us encourage one another in spite of let us stop the division and the fighting. And let us encourage one another. So with that being said, I want to thank you all very much. I want to say peace. I'm out.